What's up, everybody? This is T Main Tech, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on training and leveling up. Um, that's that's one of the most important parts in Final Fantasy because if you don't train and level up, you probably won't do as well as you could on the quests. So it's um, something you really have to continue to do throughout the game. And with this specific game, it's very open. The world is extremely vast and there's so many different opportunities and places that you can train in. So I'm really loving this aspect of the game so far. I'm gonna go ahead and craft some spells so I can get to training. So with this tutorial specifically, we are going to be fighting this total looking monster. And um we're gonna make some quick work of him. But the important part of this tutorial is the fact that once we kill him we are going to be able to use a technique that they just added to this game called Summon Enemy, which is super clutch. We literally, once we kill him, we can summon another one and fight a second one. And we can pretty much continuously do this over and over again. And that's the cool part about this feature. And you also want to do this close by a campsite. You see, we, we left the campsite, didn't go too far. Because as you know, when you sleep, that's when you actually level up. Killing the monsters just give you the experience points needed to level up, but you don't actually see that progress until you you lodge for the night. Alright, so we made quick work of him. Now, if you if you hit R two, you open this tactical menu and you use the right arrow. You can summon enemy. Get that choice. There's our new enemy. So now let's go kill him. Make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because I have a extremely important tip at the end to really maximize on your experience points. Alright, so that was pretty easy. Easy peasy. Let's do it again. Yeah! 
And once again, we made quick work of this guy. satisfied with the amount that I've killed so far and there's the clutch part about doing this so close to the camp I literally can just run back to the campsite you want to make camp go ahead and rest up camping sucks when it rains less whining more working And this is where my experience points are actually going to translate into being at a new level. And this is the part I wanted you guys to look at, um, the second piece that will really help boost your experience points. You want to look for a dish that is um, going to boost your experience. Like this one is going to do attack and magic, which I don't really need. What I want is a dish that, so this one is would be perfect, but I don't have the recipe, the ingredients that I need for it. So let's find a different dish that actually has experience. Not that one. It's maximum HP, don't need that. Don't need that one either. This one, this one would be perfect. So I'll get 20% extra experience points earned. In my next go around. So you see those four didn't do much for me in my level where I'm at at this moment. But now that I've eaten that dish in my next go around, I'm not gonna get 20% more experience points for the same toad that I kill. So that is perfect. I'm good to go. Just about awake. So that's done. I can come back out here. I'm gonna go ahead and summon another one of these toads. So he should be around here somewhere. There he is. I'm going to fight him once again. same process that I did just before I took the rest. However, this time when I kill him, I should get 20% more experience points than I did before. So just keep continuously doing this over and over again, and you'll really gain levels in no time. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed that tutorial, like and subscribe, and continue watching, because I have a lot more to come. Thanks again, guys, and this is Team Main with Team Main Tech. Peace.